So how long is your fan going to run? Well, that really depends on two things. First, how well does your fan manufacturer manufacture your fans? Secondly, how good are you, the customer, at installing that fan and then maintaining the fan? So if you're working with a manufacturer that builds a high quality product, that product could be designed to operate for 50 years for you. So how are you, the customer, going to get 50 years of life out of the fan? Well, it starts with your installation. At installation, you need to make sure that your fan is on a level foundation. After that, follow the IOM manual, make sure it's torqued down correctly to the ground. And when you have a secure connection of fan to foundation, the next thing to check is the vibration of the fan. So even if you're working with a manufacturer like AirPro that balances the fan completely before they ship it to your facility, it's possible in transit and as you were handling the fan and as the fan was being loaded, it could have fallen out of balance. And so when you install and you have it bolted down securely, always do a vibration balance check to make sure your fan is still within balance. If it's within balance, the last step is the most significant step in, in getting the longest life possible out of your fan, and that's setting up a good maintenance schedule. So when you first install, using this fan behind us, this is an Arrangement 8 high temperature fan, and it's our example fan for looking at maintaining the life of this fan. So the first thing is back here on the front side, there is you're going to see a lot of fasteners. You'll see fasteners that are securing different parts of the housing together, securing different parts maybe of the pedestal to the housing in some cases. Make sure you check the tightness of all of your fasteners. That's something you need to do up front, especially inside your wheel connection to the shaft. It's critical that you check that your wheel is still securely fastened to the shaft because if it's not, that could be a really quick failure. So after you've checked the tightness of all your fasteners, the fan's installed, it's hooked up, you've run it within your system, and everything's working properly. The maintenance schedule is the next thing. So as we work from the front of the fan to the back of the fan, we're going to talk about the maintenance of the different items. On the inside of this fan, there's a wheel, and that wheel is going to be running at high speeds. That wheel is designed to last for a very long time. But the better you maintain it, the longer it will last. What can happen to a wheel? Well, the most common thing is that that wheel can maybe fall out of vibration. That could be as a result of mild particulate corrosives going through, your wheel getting corroded, building up on blades. So check your wheel periodically. You may have an access door. You may have to look through the inlet. But check your wheel to make sure that it's clean and that it's not corroding and it's within balance. The shaft connects into your wheel and then comes out and as it exits the housing it goes through a shaft seal. Shaft seals are going to wear out quickly so maintaining a stock of the material that your fan is sealed with is a pretty wise choice. In this case this one has a ceramic felt shaft seal. So if you have ceramic felt material take the plates off every now and then, pull your felt out, replace it with a new shaft seal, put your plates back on. As you continue to move down the shaft the next thing are the bearings. Now bearings are probably the number one replaced item on a fan and many times they're replaced much earlier than they need to be. And there's a couple of things that you can do with your bearings to ensure that they last for a long time. First is monitor them. If you have the ability, put some sensors into your bearings. Order them from your fan manufacturer. Most will be able to do that for you. So we'll put RTDs that will measure the temperature or thermocouples into your bearings. Another thing that can be put into them is vibration sensors. Vibration sensors can measure your vertical and your horizontal and sometimes your axial vibrations. If monitoring that in the bearings, it's likely you're going to pick up vibration that may be happening in the fan too. So using vibration sensors or a vibration switch down on the side of your motor pedestal can save the life of your bearings. The last thing with bearings is the most important one. Lubricate them. Don't over lubricate them. Don't under lubricate them. Follow the schedule for lubrication. It's important if you over lubricate them they can fail just as quickly as if you under lubricate them. So that's how you maintain your bearing life. Your bearings should have an L10 life that, it, that goes with them. And so regardless of how well you maintain them there will come a time when they'll fail. 
And so, quick note, I would recommend having the common replacement parts on a shelf so that when they do fail, because they will fail at some point, you're able to substitute or you're able to replace them quickly and get back up and running. As we move down this fan, the next step here is the end of the shaft. And at the end of the fan shaft, you'll connect to your driver. Your driver is a motor. And so in this case, we have a coupling connecting our shaft to our motor. A coupling doesn't need a lot of maintenance, but it is really, really important to align it properly. Now that alignment is done for AirPro in our facility before we ship it to you, but it's possible as you're maintaining that you're having to pull your coupling apart and put it back in. When you put it back in, make sure it's aligned. Second thing is the coupling has grease in it. Make sure that it has grease in it over the life of the coupling. On a belt driven fan, your driver is connected to the fan shaft through a belt system. That belt system is bushings, shivs, and a set of belts. Those are high wear items. I would suggest having those items on your shelf. You can maintain them by making sure that your shivs are flush with one another, so you align your shivs once you install them, and then you put your belts on, and then you properly tension your belts. And that will extend the life of your belt system as long as possible. The last item as we move down the fan is the motor. So the fan motor is going to need to be maintained similar to the fan bearings. There's a drive end motor, or there's a drive end bearing in the motor and a non drive end bearing. Those bearings are going to have a lubrication schedule. If you follow that lubrication schedule, you'll get maximum life out of those bearings. They also would do well by being monitored for vibration and temperature. Beyond your drive component and your rotating equipment, you have steel. There's not much to do in terms of maintenance on steel other than touch up paint. As long as you continue to touch up the paint on your steel, it'll last long. Keep it from rusting, touch it up over time. Your steel will probably be what outlasts everything on your equipment. So, extending the life, getting maximum life out of your fan. First, it depends on you working with a quality, reputable fan manufacturer. Second, it involves you setting up a great maintenance schedule after you've done a great job installing the fan.